Hello Year 10, um, I hope you've had a good try at these questions. Um, I'm going to go through the simple marks really quickly and then have a focus on those last two questions because they're a bit more um, involved. So the first one, you've just got to complete these sentences. So a TV is designed to transfer chemical energy into thermal energy by electrical transfer. Right, we want other forms of energy as well. We want the radiation, okay, we want the sound and the light, um, but obviously they're not a store, um, they're ways of transferring. Um, a hairdryer is designed to transfer chemical energy into thermal energy um, and waste energy by radiation, which again is the sound um, that we get, which we don't want. So it's a wasted form. Um, right, and then on to question three. So you had some options this time. A little tip that um, somebody taught me at a conference I went to was about covering up those key words, um, having to think about what you think the answer is first so that you're not. Persu you know, persuaded from the right answer by seeing some of those wrong ones there. So having to think first, okay, what do I think this is? And then picking a word, seeing if the word you have in your head is on the list. Um, so it might be a good technique if you always feel like you start to differ between a couple of those words. So in batteries, chemical energy is transferred to electrical. Now I've got a problem with this question. It says energy there. Okay, but we know that that's how it's transferred. Okay, it's not an energy store. In the wires, um, and then the fan has kinetic energy as it rotates. So we know that bit is a store. So just watch out for those kind of things. This is an old question. Um, electrical energy doesn't exist. It's a way of transferring it. Um, but anyway, on to the next one. The Sankey diagram shows how much energy is usefully transferred. So how efficient is it? That's the 70% because that's the useful part that we want. Um, and then when we move on, so we've got to draw a ring around the correct answer. So uh, all of the energy from the fan is eventually transferred into the surroundings. This makes the temperature of the surroundings increase. So any time we lose energy by heat, the surroundings are gaining energy. They're gaining that um, energy from the appliance or whatever it is, that system that's using energy. Right, on to the next one. A washing machine washes dirty clothes and then spins the clothes to remove some of the water. So you've, again, you've got to choose the correct word for the box. So it says when the washing machine spins the clothes, chemical energy, right, is being transferred into useful kinetic energy. So the chemical energy right back in the power station is being changed into kinetic energy um, and it would be transferred electrically. And then one type of energy the washing machine wastes when spinning the clothes. It wastes thermal energy. Obviously, it's getting warmer. Um, radiation would transfer more energy away. Um, and again, generate more heat to the surroundings. Okay, and then what eventually happens to all the wasted energy? So again, if you see a question that's multiple choice like this, start to eliminate the ones that you know are definitely wrong. So the wasted energy is transferred to the clothes. Not going to be true. Um, the wasted energy is trapped and reused. So don't reuse the wasted energy, which only leaves me with that middle one. Um, the wasted energy is transferred to the surroundings. Um, so for some, it'll be really simple. You'll know exactly what the right one is. Others you'll need to spend a little bit of time trying to work it out. But try and pick up tips about you know, eliminating ones you know are definitely wrong first to narrow down your choices. Right, the next one. The figure below shows a car with an electric motor, so you've got to use the correct answer again from the box. So the car motor transfers chemical energy, it's stored in the fuel, um, into useful kinetic energy as the car moves, and some energy again is wasted as thermal, which is again what most of the wasted energy from lots of things is. Right, what happens to the wasted energy goes into the surroundings. So that's something that's going to come up a lot. So you need to start getting really quick at remembering that that's where the wasted energy goes. Right, so these are our longer answers. So you've got a car, right, and it says the car battery contains a store of energy. As the car moves, energy from one store is transferred to another store. So you've got to describe how different stores of energy change as the car moves. Now on a longer question, I'd always start to look for these command words, the words that are telling you what to do. Um, so I'm sure your science teachers are constantly reminding you about looking for those. Um, so describe just means saying what's going on. You don't need to explain it. You just need to do, say what's happening. So first mark would be saying the store of chemical energy, which is obviously in the batteries, is decreasing. And this kinetic store is increasing as he's moving along. So the chemical one's going down and the kinetic one is increasing. The second mark, the internal energy of the surrounding air also increases. 
So you've got to make sure you talk about all the stores that are involved. So the chemical store in the battery, the kinetic store in the movement, and also the fact that it's going to get hot and the surrounding air will get warmer. Alright, so hopefully you managed to get two marks on that one. Right, then if we go on to the next one, we've got a diagram that shows the stage of extreme sport um, called the human catapult. So a person they're lying in the cradle, which is held on the ground, the cradle is released, the person is launched vertically in the air by an elastic rope, the person then parachutes back to the ground. So when I'm looking at this picture, I'm already starting to think about what information it's giving me. So it's talking about position A, so that's them right down in the bottom, um, and then position B, just before they launch out the catapult, and then position C right at the top. Um, and I could start to write things around here already, things that I might know, so like the elastic rope, so it's going to have elastic energy. He's moving, he's going to have kinetic energy, he's going higher, he's going to have gravitational energy. Things that the picture kind of jogs in my memory if I was going to do this. Right, and then it says, in position A, there is a store of elastic energy. Right, position C is the person's maximum height. So you've got to describe the energy transfer from position A through to B, and then finally to C. So this is where, you know, looking at that picture in a lot of detail helps me to really start to think about what I'm talking about. So the first thing I do again, circle those command words. So I know I've just got to describe, I don't need to explain. I just need to say what's happening. So my first bit, I'm looking at the first two points between A and B. The elastic store decreases because they've released the catapult. So remember when you put on an elastic band, you put lots of elastic energy into it. If you release it, it goes down. Right? So that's my first part, and then I said, then the kinetic and gravitational stores increase because he moves or she moves, right? And they're getting higher, so they're getting more gravitational energy. My next mark uh, comes from talking about uh, what's happening between B and C. So that's where he's left the catapult and he's sort of the highest position he's going to get to. So between those points, the kinetic store is decreasing, he's slowing down, he's reached his maximum speed. Gravity's fighting against him, so it's pushing him back, so he's decreasing his kinetic energy, but the gravitational store is increasing because he's getting to the highest point. Um, the final mark is about the internal energy store of the surroundings is increasing, that's going up because there's friction between him and the air particles, so you get thermal energy forming there, so their store increases. You could have also said that some energy is dissipated to the surroundings, or some energy is dissipated as heat, which just means it's, it's lost. Um, so hopefully you've managed to do really well on that set of questions um, and managed to get quite a good mark. And hopefully if things weren't clear why you didn't get them, I've explained that. But if you've still got any concerns, just pop a comment on Show My Homework um, and I'll explain it. Um, if you now take a picture of your questions so I can see that you've marked them and see the score that you've got, because I'm keeping track of all of this, um, and upload that to Show My Homework, please. Thank you, Year 10.